Near boards for Brady. Vail spun it back to Ebert. Crowd forming. Ebert winding, shooting it straight on the rebound. Back in another stop there by Windsor. Another shot. They score. It's going to be Kirby Reichel. who was named player of the month for December, gets his pit fires a goal. 33 seconds in as he bangs in the rebound. And his pit fires take an early 1-0 lead. Nick Ebert did a great job. He got into a good location. Look at how he moves over into the middle of the zone. Let's go. A good shot. Reichel goes crashing that. He gets in front of Walsh there. Gets a stick on the puck. Not a very good defensive segment for the Spirit. Obviously, when you're giving up a goal, it's not very good, Bill. No. But uh, they just, just didn't do much on that uh, defensive uh, segment there. Right. Nick Ebert swings it over to Brathwaite here on the left side. Flipped it. It was deflected. Knocked down by Reichel in the corner. Reichel got away from Walt. Now coming in front. Another jam. And he scores on the rebound. Kirby Reichel. Reichel. His second goal of the period. Spitfire's quick on the power play. And it's 2-0. And we've only played 5-18. Spitfire's on the power play shot here. of the period. And we played 5-18. You know, Saginaw's just standing around a lot right now, Bill. I mean, right there, Reichel basically walked out in front of the net. Watch, he'll take the puck. Pretty much untouched there. Walsh is leading with his stick. They're standing watching Reichel go to the net. Outlet feed at center for Bateman. Bateman will knife it inside the zone on the hustle. Zinder and Alonji will apply the four check. Zinder, we're looking for a loose puck. He plays it. Try to come out in front. Now he did. Pass in front. They score. Steven Alonji at the side of the goal. Bangs it in. Left uncontested. And the Spitfires make it 3 Alonji was the recipient of Zinder's hustle. Getting down there. Controlling the boards. Look at the nice little move here. Comes across. Gets it out front. Great job by the big man, Nick Zinder. Check out come the Spirit. Trocek will outlet the Saad. Saad brings it up across the line. Wide on Posa. Fired it way wide and far side. Trochik, 13 seconds left in the winter penalty. Brathwaite now fine. Centering pass, they score. Open man was sod. Boy, you could have had a coffee. It's now three to one. <laughs> coffee and a donut, Bill. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, the, the last guy you want left all alone in front of the net like that is this guy, Brandon Sod. Power play marker for the Spirit. Trochik starts it. Again, they just outman the Spitfires low. The support doesn't come down quick enough. Sod left all alone. Spirit get that puck out to him quickly. And uh, bang, bang, right there. It's in the back of the net. Sod 16th of the season. 43 seconds into yes. the period. Off the draw, the Spitfires. Don't get it out at the line. Push back now to Shala. Shala at the top of the circle. Side of the goal, it goes to Fine in the corner. Not a, sh a Shala. Josh Shala, the Nashville draft pick. Spun to the goal, blocked in front. Now in front of Sada, shot Trojic, and they score on the power play. It's 3-2, to two, and the Spirit have cut the deficit to one. Two power play goals have got him back into this one, Bill, and what a great move by a very crafty forward, Vincent Trocek. He held on. Watch the pass will come across, uh, or off the rebound here, and Trocek makes that one little extra move right there. Pavelka got a piece of it, but not enough to keep it out. Just a great heads-up move by Trocek. Here's another angle right here. The puck will end up across. And you don't see the move right there, but uh, you see that puck going in. Now regains a stick as the Spirit come to center ice. Up over the line for Trocek. Trocek away from Brathwaite. Knocked off stride by Alonji. Fired to the goal. Hit the post rebound. They score, and we're tied at three. Lock. Boy, oh boy, the Spirit have tied this one at three. Well, hey, give these guys credit, man. They have just come back and played extremely hard in this second period and it's paid off they've got themselves back on even terms and we're at square one here Bugner very upset at the Windsor bench and I really can't blame him on Nick Ebert far side coming back to the point the strong had trouble controlling him it turns away from McQueen now to fine checked by Reichel out of the corner comes Saad back to the line to strong strong shoots wide scores and the spirit have made it 4-3 with 9-3-3 to play here in the period that puck had eyes. <laughs> Somehow, some way, it did get in. I agree with you, Bill. See if we can pick it up here on the uh, replay. Lots of time at the point. Big, some big bodies in front of Pavelka. Hard to fault him there. There were three or four big bodies. There's the shot from Strong. I don't think it was deflected at all, Bill. No, I don't think so either. I think it went all the way in. But like I said, I think that. Okay, had a set of eyes. They oh, haven't scored a goal. Saginaw's got the goal, though. At the line, Posa with a blast. Score! Sam Posa. They may have tipped it, and the Spitfires make it 4-4. Well, they must have heard you. <laughs> <laughs> Good call, Dom. Well, there you go. Need a little bit of urgency, and IOU, instant offense, yes. and uh, 
Yo, know, Sam Posa puts the puck on the net though, Bill. That's the thing. You know, earlier he had a chance in the game and uh, he didn't put it on the net here. He gets it on the net, maybe deflected, we'll see, but. Uh, if it was, it was Vail, I think, yeah, we'll just, see. Just the same, it's at the net. You gotta get shots at the net, bottom line. Boy, that was a top shelf uh, tally there. And he wired it. So here's Alex Kuklachev with his first opportunity and the Spitfire's first chance as well. With the Spitfire's in the lead, here he comes, moves in, shoots, scores! Kuklachev buries it. And as the spirits turn, and who's it going to be? Is it Boy, Amistoy? It is. It is Amistoy. Boy, did Kokolchev ever make that look easy, Bill. Yeah, he wired it, too. Heads up. Mitchell picks his spot. Move. Five hole big time. Now it's Carlos Amistoy. 19-year-old rookie. Moving in for Saginaw. Moving in. That's the shot going. He scores. Great backhander by Amistoy. Nice move there. He Got Pavelka to bite. Kirby Reichel uh, is going to take the check second opportunity for Windsor. Kirby's had an outstanding night himself. Two goals on the night in the first period. Here he comes. Reichel lost control of it. Oh, great stop by Windsor after losing control of it. Yeah, he got it back and uh, still got off a pretty good shot. And for the Saginaw Spirit, no surprise, Vincent Trocek. Yeah, this guy is such a gifted yeah, this uh, a sniper. player. He's had another solid night here tonight. Goal and a couple of assists. And here he comes. Pavelka needs to come up big. Trocek moving in, makes his move, and he scores. Goes to the forehand. My, oh, my, does he have some great hands. Spitfires need a goal here to stay in it. And it's going to be Nick Zinder. So Nick Zinder to keep the Spitfires' hopes alive. Here comes the big guy, Nick Zinder. And Zinder moving in, shoots! Windsor saves it, and the Spitfires have lost in a shootout. 5-4, two teams are tied for sixth. Here tonight, here's Dominic Papa to tell us all about it, Dom. Clint Windsor closes up the five hole, and Salvages a victory here for the Saginaw Spirit. Look at Zinder head up, and he looked like he was going to the same spot as uh, Koklachev did a couple of shots ago, and Windsor gets to celebrate. Saginaw gets to the 500 mark.